It was about 45 years ago in a boathouse on Georgian Bay that I saw hanging from the wall a navigation oil lamp that looks very similar to this one. Yes, I know that this particular example is a train lamp, but it is similar in the aspect that it has two different colored lenses, red and blue. I mentioned to the old man that was working at the boathouse that I thought that boating navigation lights were red and green. He informed me that this particular lamp was an antique, even then, and in its day was used with coal oil. He said that coal oil burned with a yellow flame, and the combination of a yellow flame and blue lens made a green navigation light. Here is a sample of a blue dial lens. It's not from a Morantz, but it gets the point across. And three different light bulbs, a 100 millivolt, a 200 millivolt, and one of the new LEDs. They cast mostly a yellow light. Now, a bit of a yellow light in front of the blue makes it a little bit green. Just like fluorescent fixtures have a diffuser to more evenly spread out the light being cast by the individual lamps, dial displays use a vellum. It is meant to help so that you don't see the individual bulbs through the lens. But like this Marantz that was produced 40 odd years ago, the vellum has yellowed. So to help combat this problem of the yellowing vellum, They've come up with a blue LED. Now I know some people say that putting blue LEDs into a Marantz is like cutting a two foot by two foot square hole into the hood of an El Camino in order to accommodate a scoop. But it sure does look nice. Let's get the room lights off here. So now they've come up with, and I've only just discovered them, royal blue. Now the royal blue light is one step again beyond. Let's see if I can't get this on. A deeper, richer blue. It's a little too rich and too blue for me. I gotta say I like the middle receiver. Thanks for your time.